we're going to do a quick stop at the confluence with Little Summit and then the confluence with Jackson. For more than 50 years, fishermen, conservationists, and environmental scientists have been working together to preserve a cherished pastime and protect one of our most precious natural resources. Trout Unlimited is a national organization whose goal is to conserve, protect, and restore North America's cold water fisheries and watersheds. I feel like it's better for Trout Unlimited members of the community to be able to learn more about their watershed, about some of those changes, about the impacts on the overall ecology of the river system, and hopefully just get more engaged and knowledgeable about what we see for our future in terms of holding on to our cold water native fish and the overall river ecosystem, and then also making sure that the water quality is also good for human needs, whether it's drinking water or continuing our heritage with farming and ranching and having enough water to continue um, you know, a level of use within that regard. Since its inception in 1959, Trout Unlimited has grown from a group of 16 anglers in Michigan to a nationwide network comprised of over 400 chapters and more than 140,000 volunteers. And each one of those volunteers comes with their own background and motivation for giving their time. Well, I, I'm retired and I think once you retire you like to think your activities have uh, some meaning. It gives you a sense of meaning to the activities other than just throwing a fly in the river, which is fun too. But it's nice to have a little more to it than just catching fish, even though I like to do that. I think that if I have the mind, the body, and the spirit to do it, then it would be a waste not to. Um, I think volunteering is a, is a really important thing to do. It's a productive way to spend your days off. and. Um, it, it feels good and you know it kind of takes you out of your 48 hour work week and into another world 64 64 huh? and with volunteer opportunities ranging from field work to fundraising there's bound to be something for everyone all right who wants to get some uh, temperature readings i really respect how trout unlimited has what I think is an outstanding balance of hands-on work in the field, supporting agencies and their need, whether it's for monitoring or fundraising, to be able to get projects and science done on the ground, whether it's fighting for better management with hydropower or actually placing um, habitat and, and wood in the streams to be able to improve that habitat for fish within the area. It's, it's good, you know, it's uh, like a lot of things you get opportunities and you can kind of do almost as much as you want to in terms of different activities so you kind of pick what you want to do and I, I think most of these things are fun and rewarding if they are things that interest you. If you're a person that really wants to learn um, have a chance at some free education and also kind of have a hand in helping out in the, the conservation of trout and riparian ecosystem it would definitely be a great opportunity and plus everybody here is really friendly and nice. You can be anybody of any age and, and it's definitely worth checking out.